welcome to Five Acre Homestead. My name is Danny and we just got done building and filling up our firewood bundle roadside stand. Uh, basically this video is going to be all about building one, constructing one, and showing you how we did it. Hope you guys all enjoy the video. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel as this is the very first video we've ever posted on Five Acre Homestead. Hope you guys all enjoy it. We'll see you on the build. All right, so first step is we got to go out and do some tractor work, which you don't actually need the tractor. You can do it all by hand with a shovel, but just makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to load up some 4x4 cement deck blocks that we picked up from Home Depot for $8.57 a piece, and dump them on the ground, and get to flattening out a nice surface to work on. Here we're just fine tuning the ground a little bit, finishing it all up with a shovel. So the bones of the firewood bundle stand is going to be primarily constructed of pallets. So we're grabbing one of our four pallets here and we're going to start the build of the base or the bottom of the stand. So here I've got the backside or the underside of one of these pallets and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, with my sawzall this uh, outer piece on this side and the outer piece on this side. That way I'll be able to secure one of my 4x4s to each corner. And that's kind of my plan. And that will provide the base for the firewood bundle stand. So since this pallet's a little banged up on the underside, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this and uh, replace it with one of the ones that we just took off. So here I've got a piece of treated scrap 4x4 that I cut down and basically all I'm going to do is put it here because this is where my legs are going to go in each corner. And I'm going to trace it out just with a pencil. And then what that's going to do when I do it in all four corners, that's going to tell me where I need to put my deck block. And that'll be where my legs go. So here I'm measuring corner to corner, both horizontally and vertically. So after I got done measuring, I found that my width was 36 inches and my depth was 39 and a half inches. Next, I just took a pencil and wrote it down on the pallet so I could use it here in one of the next steps. Once we got done measuring the corners, all we had to do was load the pallet up into the tractor and bring it out to where the bundle stand is going to sit. Next, we just took our 4x4 deck blocks and placed them on the ground where our stand is going to sit. It didn't need to be exact because the next step is to measure out where the blocks need to actually be placed. Okay, so now that we have our deck blocks kind of set out to where we think they're going to need to go, we're going to take our scrap pieces of 4x4 that we measured out uh, before and just kind of line them up with the measurements that we had previously took and wrote on the pallet. And it should make more sense once it all kind of comes together and I, I build it up. But that's what we're going to do next. And we'll show you what happens. Okay, so we're working with 36 inches horizontally and 39 and a half inches vertically, and it should line up perfect. Thirty-six. Perfect. Okay, so we're done measuring here. So again, horizontally from this post to this post, we've got 36 inches, and then from the back to the front, 39 and a half on both sides and we've got it measured um, 
Now we just gotta actually make sure it's squared. So we need to measure diagonally and just verify that we're all good there because that'll probably lead to problems later down the road. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring corner to corner to make sure that it's squared. One thing I've learned from previous projects is that if it's not squared, it'll really come back to bite you in the end. So it's a super important step to, to make and just to be very diligent about. We're actually pretty close. I already measured the other corner. We're about an inch off and then we'll have to level it, of course, so. So after working on this a while, I ended up adding some gravel under it and it just made it level that much easier. So level on that. Now we just got the rest to do. All right. Dead nuts, huh? That was by far the worst part. Like I've been dreading doing the leveling portion of this project. It just, it's so tedious and you have to just constantly measure, recheck, measure, recheck. And I think we finally got it. So our blocks have all been brought up to the same level. They're level, squared, and it's time to uh, make the platform. The rest should be pretty fun to make. So next we took to the miter saw to make the legs for the bundle stand. So we took another four by four treated post and cut four 16 inch lengths to make the legs. So now that we have each leg cut out, all we have to do is take them out to the road, place them in our deck blocks, and then just give them a light tap with a hammer and they should seat nicely. So now we've got a pretty satisfying part. All we have to do is take the pallet, place it on our legs, and it should sit perfectly. All right, not looking too bad, huh? So after a healthy amount of screws to secure the base to the legs, it was just time to put the sides up. This is where we really got an idea of what the bundle stand was going to look like. For the most part, we got it. It doesn't look too bad. That was a pain. I didn't even film. It's trying to MacGyver a way to get that square and aligned by myself, like lifting it up since there was no support. <sighs> Awful, <laughs> but we got it. So that's the, the main thing, but we're definitely gonna have to fur it out and um, beef it up a little bit with some, uh, probably some scrap four by fours still. But um, yeah, it's coming together. Looking pretty good. Okay, so one of the last things we're gonna do for the day is get the roof on top of the bundle stand. Um, this is my last pallet that I have. It's a little, uh, it's got a little character, if you will. So we're going to uh, fix one of them, probably this end piece here uh, with this old piece that we've got. Play doctor and then attach it and call it a day. Okay, pallet's fixed up. We're just missing that middle piece. Um, but uh, we'll fix that the next time we work on this project, uh, probably tomorrow or next week. Let's see what the schedule says, but let's get it on the roof and we'll see what she looks like.
All right, that is kind of it. So we'll get her screwed down. We still got a lot of work to do next time, but you know, if I weren't filming, I think this would go a lot faster. Still trying to kind of get my flow down. Have you guys subscribed yet? <laughs> um, ah, it's been a good day. Let's get her screwed down and we'll see what it looks like here. Okay, so that's a wrap for today. Uh, we got a lot done today. We basically got the, the basic structure up and uh, now we just gotta do some fine tuning and get everything else ready. And within a couple more days of work, probably we'll have a firewood bundle stand. So um, it came out looking a lot better, to be honest, than I thought it would. Um, I've got some ideas for some final touches, but overall, pretty happy with how it turned out. Okay, so a couple days passed by. We're back out here working on the stand. And all I'm doing here is taking some scrap 4x4, some other scrap wood, just to kind of fur out the pallet stand and make it as much of a box or a square as I possibly can. So yesterday I was able to reply to an ad on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and I found a bunch of free old cedar fencing that I'm going to use for the siding for the bundle stand. So it should give a really rustic, cool barnwood kind of vibe. And some of it's white, some of it's got a little bit of a red tint to it. I think it's gonna come out really nice. Okay, so the siding is all up and done. It's looking pretty good actually. Now it's time to hit the roof. So right here, I've got some scrap metal roofing that I got from my buddy. And all that it cost me was a six pack of beer. Not a bad price. So I previously got the measurements for the roof of the bundle stand. And then just cut out a couple pieces to match. Thanks for helping me carry stuff. You're welcome. I pretty much got the whole job. I know you yeah. have. So initially I considered going with a pitched roof design, but all in all, the pallet's strong, and if I need to shovel it a time or two during the winter, I can do that. Alright, one down. Here I've just got some old metal roofing screws from a previous project. I'm just going to put a few in, get the roof in place. So as I mentioned before, this is some old scrap metal roofing that came off a buddy's barn. There's quite a bit of holes in it, so we're just going to take some clear silicone and just put it on, try to make it a little more waterproof. I didn't initially intend on doing this, but I decided to ultimately put a piece of siding on the front bottom of the stand. So I'm like nearly done with this build and working out here and a guy from the highway district pulls up and asks if I have a permit to be building this. 
off the roadway? And the answer was no. You know, naive, I guess. Lesson learned, I, don't, I didn't know I needed one, which might be general knowledge, something I didn't know. But, you know. <sighs> so, that's a consideration to take into. I, I had no idea. And this thing is like done. And I've been so excited about it. And I've been, you know, I've spent so much time on building this bundle stand that now I need to move it, you know. <sighs> so I guess my, uh, my idea is to get it behind the fence somehow, but thankfully it's on pallets. So I might be able to move it if, if I could get some pallet forks. Okay guys, so due to the issue from earlier, we got, you guessed it, we had to go and spend 500 bucks on some uh, pallet forks for the tractor. Just some adjustable clamp on. Um, they're rated for a thousand pounds. And I think we should be just fine. We gotta remove this face plate again and then should be just all pallets. So um, should just be able to pick it up Hopefully move it back here without a problem. So wish me luck. <laughs> you know, we'll see how this goes. So after that little hang up, we eventually got the stand moved behind the fence. And now all we're doing is putting some cedar fence siding or trim inside the stand. So now it's time to make the sign for the stand. So that same buddy that I got the scrap metal roofing from actually gave me an old rough cut piece of 2x8. And it's really cool looking and I thought that would make the perfect sign. All we've got to do is take a few measurements, cut it to size, and then we're going to take it to the router and make a really cool custom sign. Okay, so while the sign dries and cures, uh, we just got a couple things left to do here. Um, I made a little sign or a flyer for the stand that we're gonna hang up. Basically it says, welcome to the firewood bundle stand. Got your price for wood bundles, small kindling bundles that I'll be selling. And then our payment options are, please place cash in the black payment box, which is what we have here. Or we're doing Venmo, and then I put the little QR code um, just in case people don't have cash. So we're gonna get these two hung up. We'll show you what it looks like.
drop these, that would be... <laughs> okay, do I need to go around? Yep. Okay, so that's the end of the video. The firewood bundle stand is constructed, it's built, it's filled with wood, it's filled with kindling, and now we just gotta sit back and kinda wait to see how it does. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to tune back to the channel because I plan on doing a full update, let you guys know how it did. Um, if you wanna see how I build my firewood bundles, I also plan on doing a video on that as well. So we definitely plan on making more videos on the homestead to keep you guys updated with all of our projects and everything we're doing. If you guys are interested in checking that out, be sure to stay tuned and come back to the channel to check out the videos. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.